Park was recovering in hospital after surgery and uh, in Dubai watching Connor Dunphy and Ola Laura Coughlin. No changes on either team, start of the second half as uh, Henry Shefflin plays it in here as far as Richie Power. Power takes off, tries to get right through the centre there, drives to draw the fall and uh, succeeds in drawing that foul. And an early opportunity now for Kilkenny to get yet another score. A yellow card there is Vinicius to Fergal Moore. Yeah, I think that's a harsh enough yellow card. You know, he did put the hand in over the shoulder, but Richie Power was going to ground. He had nowhere to go, you know, and it was a free, but a very, very harsh yellow card. Henry Shefflin did try for a goal earlier on from uh, a free around 20 metres out. This time he's quite content to put it over the bar. Fifth pointed free for him. And so they've managed once again to eat into the Galway lead. And this is the period of the game I think that Galway really have to, they have to hurl away now because Kilkenny so many times over the years have come out at the start of the second half and started so well. We saw it the last evening against Tipperary. So this is the crucial 10 minutes now for Galway to, to, to weather the storm. At one stage, Galway led Kilkenny by seven points in this final. Pressure on the Kilkenny backs again. Damien Hayes playing it back here to Ireland. A rapid response to the point by Henry Shefflin from a free. So they go point for point then. Start of the uh, second half here of this All-Ireland final. And that's what Damien Hayes has been doing all year. He's given that little hand pass. He's not poking the ball in aimlessly. And a great score there by Niall Buck again, who's having a super game at centre forward. Yeah, they're not just uh, depending on Joe Canning and Damien Hayes. Others are contributing as well. And this time in the middle of the field, it's the very hard-working here, Latanya. He's having a terrific match. Injured a couple of times early on, but he certainly worked his socks off. That as far as Damien Hayes. Hayes with two Kilkenny men after him. Plays it off here as far as David Burke. Looking for his first point in this match. Would be a good time to get it, but he's put it just to the left-hand side. Draw it, threw it away, and it was uh, just going offline. Stays at 110 to 8 points. Quick puck out this time as far as Jackie Tyrrell. And Jackie launches it in towards the opposing 20-metre line. Up to Antonio Gregan, got it at the second attempt. Played it outside here as far as Fergal Moore. Dragged down, three out for Galway. Galway playing with great tenacity, great spirit, and Kilkenny having it all to do. They are five points behind. Yeah, free. Fergal Moore having a super game there. And Tony, you know, all their backs are well on top, and uh, they're going to be very, very happy. Pity there that last score, David Burke, because that really epitomised Galway's play here. Latanian, Damien Hayes involved. And again, you know, an easy enough wide at this level and should be sticking him over the bar. Paul Murphy couldn't get that away. Damien Hayes slips it back here as far as Andy Smith. And Andy Smith tries his luck from uh, way out. He got a point in the first half. He had other options there. That's seven wides now for Galway. Seven wides for Kilkenny as well. He might have played that ball in towards the square and given the other forwards a better opportunity. It stays at 110 to eight points. David Herity's puck out. Big leap in the air here as it's batted back out here. JJ Delaney has followed Joe Canning out along the field. There was speculation as to what happened if Big Joe went out. Joe JJ's gone after him. This time it's Jackie Tyrrell trying to get the ball away from uh, the Port Amina player. In there as far as James Regan. And this time held off by Kieran Joyce, the 25 year old from Rauer Inishti. Eddie Cares Club. Big, huge clearance out of defence. Of course, TJ Reid did a good first half, had some good moments in that. But it's Niall Dunne who got a score in that first half. Poor clearance, under pressure from Owen Larkin, straight to Richie Hogan. This time trying to set up TJ Reid. They need this to go over, and TJ Reid supplies another one for Kilkenny. One in each half for the 24 year old from Bally Hale Shamrocks. Yeah, lovely little ball there by Richie Hogan. Really should have been cleared up the field by Neil Dunne when he got possession. And TJ Reid, who has been a you know, has been consistent since the start. He's got a couple of nice points now. Well, once again, here, Latania is in the wars here, and uh, indications there from uh, Maddy Kenny, one of the selectors, that he might not be able to continue, and that would be a big loss because since his move into midfield on the part of the manager and Anthony Cunningham, it has been a big success story playing here, Latania out there. Um, he's certainly been one of the big pluses this year, Joseph Cooney being prepared, but Tanyan wants to continue. Well, I think it's the way he's been playing, Jerry. he's thrown himself headlong into every single ball, that, that really was a ball that he'd no right to get involved in, and he threw his body in and he's taken a few knocks, but he should be OK. Here's Tommy Welch, ball in play, heat stepped out, James Regan tries to get it, tries to link up with Irla Tanyan once again, but there was no space available, and it's got to be a Galway ball, 
and Neil Latanian has got to be the one who will take it. Physically a very strong man, as you can see, tough, hard, competitor, but brave as well into the bargain. So Galway by four points, early stage of the second half. That's a good cut-up, but it should favour Brian Hogan as he takes it in his stride and moves forward here, being pursued there by Joe Canning. It's still Hogan knocking it out here as far as Aidan Fogarty sets off. David Collins is in hot pursuit. Fogarty hasn't scored so far, but then nobody with the uh, numbers 13, 14 or 15 for Kilkenny has scored so far. And this time, this ball, is it over? There's a bit of a dispute, Richie Power saying it is, but uh, the referee is going in. One of the umpires has waved it wide, the other man wasn't sure. It stays at 1-10 to 9 points until referee Barry Kelly has consulted with the umpires. Now, he must have had a good view of that. And I think he's looking over to his linesman as well, who would have been directly behind the ball, and I think he's given the score, yeah. So a score for Richie Power, his first point in this final. And now there are three between them, 110 to 10 points, and it's hotting up. We're just some, what, six minutes into the second half. James Scahill about to pocket it out. This is where Galway now need plenty of steadying influences. Tommy Welsh trying to get it back. Erla Tanyan trying to get it up onto his stick. Dashing in here to try and take it as Aiden forward. He has gone back in towards midfield. Tumbling over was Richie Hogan. Taking it away, Andy Smith. Diagonally across once again over there. Beautifully contained by David Burke. David Burke trying to make headway. Niall Burke, his namesake, trying to come onto it. And the Kilkenny defences, defence just uh, took control of that situation. Brian Hogan slipping the hand pass out to Michael Fennelly. They'll need a big return for Michael Fennelly if they're going to win this final, Kilkenny. Dropped there and returned and recovered by Tony O'Gregan, but helped as he was doing so by David Collins. Industrious as ever all the way down towards James Regan, trying to cut inside Kieran Joyce, Regan here. And he stepped out over the sideline, but the referee saw a push, and it's going to be a free to go away. And that's a silly foul to give away from Kilkenny's point of view, because Regan wasn't uh, an immediate on, danger. And it gives Joe Canning once again an opportunity to come across and try and stretch his own personal tally. He's got 1-6 from the first half. Yeah, D David Burke, a great diagonal ball by Andy Smith, and David Burke caught it well, but he was closed down very, very quickly. And again, this is just to put four points between them again now from Joe. Out in the sideline, he doesn't seem to have got any handy free, a couple of, in the first half, but he's, got, he's had a lot of frees from out in the line. Real challenging angle once again confronting him. But he is a very, very prolific free-taker. As I say it, it's the curse that you put on the guy, but that was uh, out near the sideline difficult one for him to take but it's still 110 to 10 points yeah well he spent most of the second half out around the field making long runs and covering and blocking I prefer to see him in around the goals we've said it before but you know he's he's our best forward he's 100 yards out from the goals from that puck out by David Harrity it spills around in there and in comes Michael Fenley down near the goal where he scored a goal against Tip in last year's final a real pile up of bodies there and the referee's going to have to bring the ball out and throw it in Richie Power, one of the last to get up there. Two midfielders reporting for duty. Finally, runs out as far as Erlitanian and back into the attack. Galway hope to go, but it's broken up here quickly by JJ Delaney. Slipping it forward, but out over the line. It was intended for Jackie Turrell, who's protesting that it went off a, a Galway stick. Line ball to the tribesmen. Continue to lead in this match by 110 to 10 points. Only right at the very, very beginning of this match were they behind when Henry Shefflin got the opening point of the match. But apart from that, it's been Galway all the way. Major, I don't think I can remember seeing a Kilkenny that looked so nervous. They seem to be very different. JJ Delaney normally so sure in the ball, and I don't think he's got a ball in his hands since he started again. Three times in his career as manager, Brian Cody has been beaten by Galway, including this year. Bit of a bogey team, they have been down the years. This time, Paul Murphy gets it out. Out to TJ Reid, inside his own half of the field. Collected well there, and slipped back out by Kevin Hines. Out to the wing here. It was intended for Niall Donoghue to clear away, and he might do so yet, but there was a foul, and it's got to be a free to Kilkenny. 
bit of nervousness at the back by Galway, but that's quite understandable. They're playing in their first final by and large. Well, you saw the tactics there. TJ Reid played a bad ball inside a great cover there by Richie Power, and Neil Dunno held his hurl. Uh, Richie Power covered a lot of ground, but you saw TJ Reid. In fact, all we're trying to do is sit Tony O'Gregan and Kevin Hines right back in front of the goals. It's going to be Henry Shefflin to take it. Now 33 years of age. Well, he had just as tough an angle as Joe Canning earlier on, but this time he's got it absolutely right. Straight between the uprights. So Kilkenny continue to eat into Galway's lead, and it's now down to a two-point margin. And the Kilkenny fans have travelled in their usual huge numbers. It's almost like an annual day out in September for them, up against uh, Anthony Cunningham and Tom Hellebert's team. Huge puck out. Collected well once again by the very, very strongly built Paul Murphy. The army man helped out by Richie Hogan. Up it goes towards Richie Power. Controlled by Fergal Moore. And the Galway man stick was held. Three out to Galway. They're claiming Henry is anyway that uh, he took a dive. But uh, the referee saw it otherwise. And now he's telling Andy Smith to get away from the scene of the action. There's got to be a free. The free's been awarded. Henry has certainly fired up. If he's going to win his ninth medal on the field of play, they're going to have to do it the hard way because Kilkenny are finding life very, very tough this afternoon, as many in Kilkenny, in particular Brian Cody and his management team, had been predicting. Here's yeah. Johnny O'Gree. Great play by Fergal Moore again. What a game he's having a cornerback for Galway. Inside towards Canning this time and in over his head. There was nothing he could do about it to contain that one. Well, that's a couple of times now that Tony O'Gregan has taken freeze. The first one went out of play completely. This one was over the head, and this is where Joe Canning is saying that JJ was impeding him. Yeah, well, look at that. Galway have only got one point in the second half. You know, they need to settle down. They've hit a few bad wides, and Kilkenny are just chipping away, and it's more that Galway aren't putting them away at this stage. Kilkenny are getting back into the game. Back out to the industrious James Regan. Up from corner forward to midfield. Challenged here by Cyril Donnellan. Held on to somehow by JJ Delaney. Needing a bit of assistance, getting it from Kieran Joyce. Taken in by Kevin Hines this time. Out as far as Ir Litanian. Back into the inside forwards. In there towards Niall Burke, who got into full forward, followed by Brian Hogan, who's done a good job on him. Out it comes once again as far as Paul Murphy. Certainly Brian Hogan has recovered after a jittery opening quarter of an hour against Niall Burke. Out of the middle of the park here, it's David Burke. Oh, that's a poor ball. Straight there as far as Kieran Joyce. Back once again it comes towards Richie Parr. Sends in over his head. Across comes Johnny Cohen. Low ball in as far as Damien Hayes. Good control of the ball. Takes it away from Jackie Tyrrell. Shows pace. Shows commendable commitment. Some 11 minutes now since Galway scored. As Cyril Donnellan tries to put that right. The umpires look at it, but it's got away to the left-hand side. And it's another missed opportunity. Yeah, well, it's a real game of cat and mouse now, Joe. What Kilkenny have done is they've dropped TJ Reid out to the middle of the field. Great catch there by Brian Hogan, but TJ Reid had been dropped out around the middle, leaving Kevin Hines loose inside or Tony O'Gregan loose in around the full back line. And, uh, you know, at the other end of the field, then Galway have, little, have less room because of that. So it's a game of cat and mouse now, and it's anyone's game. Galway still applying the pressure. David Burke again foraging around midfield, Henry Shefflin's after him, so too Michael Fenley, still managed to get it away, into a two-man inside forward line, and again, this is taken down here by Brian Hogan, having a very good second half, highly influential, up towards Richie Power this time, breaks down here, it's Aidan Fogarty, and Fogarty quick as you like, puts it over the bar for his first point in this All-Ireland hurling final, and now there's just a point between the teams, the margin, back to one, 110 to 12 points, and that little man there, Looking on as uh, one of his idols, I'm sure, Aidan Fogarty got his first point here from a tight enough angle, put it over the bar. Yeah, and here's Brian Hogan again, who's really powered into the game, and Paul Murphy, I think, in particular since half time. But you saw there, Galway had four, maybe to two over. Good knockdown by Richie Power and a good score by Aidan Fogarty. Two Kilkenny players went for the one ball. This time they're under pressure, but this time they hold out.